Hey fam, how are y'all? I hope you guys are having a great week. Listen, this is an impromptu video because y'all, Publisher Rocket has just released something that I believe and I know is going to be a game changer for me and also kind of helping me spy on the competition and do kind of reverse engineering when it comes to putting books together. So um, before we get into this video, um, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. Few little mini commercials. For those of you that are interested in learning more about building brands and building a series of related books to sell more books and low content books over on Amazon KDP, you can head over to check out my uh, flagship course, which is called From Publish to Profit. Also, um, for those of you that are interested in just, you know, um, getting some time saving templates um, to create publish and create and publish low content books faster you can head over to check out the low content collective this is an affordable membership where you can get access to templates that are dropped every month all of that good stuff and last but not least some freebies one is a swipe file and list of over 200 low content book ideas you can click the link below to get access to that and then and then as well as a free master class to learn how you can get started and make your first 1k per month on kdp now let's get into the video fam i am so stoked about this um i received an email on last week i think and i heard some rumblings that um, publisher rocket was going to be making some updates and guys they have and this is epic so for those of you that are not using publisher rocket you know maybe this this new um, tool is going to encourage you to get it i use it along with some other tools um but this one i think is definitely a game changer and so publisher rocket guys has added a reverse asin lookup now if you're new to, to the game of publishing on kdp you're probably wonder, wondering what an asin number is Essentially, an ASIN is a, a number that is used to basically identify books on KDP. It's basically just like a, a lookup number. It's like a social security number for your books. There you go. So anyways, they've added a reverse ASIN lookup so that you can basically spy on the competition and see which keywords they are ranking for and find some low competition keywords um, from the books that they are ranking for and use them to your advantage, okay? So I wanted to just show you guys really quickly how this can be done. So for example, um, one of the tools that I do like to look up or use on Publisher Rocket is the Competition Analyzer. So I'm gonna click on the Competition Analyzer and and I'm just going to type in a, a keyword. So maybe I'm creating a coloring book for kids. And so I want to see which of those books are doing the best. So we'll do coloring book for kids. And so I'm going to go ahead and click go get them rocket. And this is going to bring up all of the books that are doing well over on KDP. So as an example, here's one right here. That's a dinosaur coloring book for kids is doing pretty well. This one is a unicorn, mermaid, and princess coloring book that is doing very well. This book is making 13K, approximately 13K a month, and so on and so forth. And so from here, once you get into looking at these different designs and seeing what's selling, like this one is really, really cute, what you can do is you can basically go and you can click on check it out over on Amazon. All right, and this actually was just released. This looks really simple. I can't really tell if this is AI generated. It doesn't look like it, but this is a really cute book and they're making really good money. They have some 50, they have 50 animals on this cover. The cover is really, really cute and really simple. And the images do not look AI. I think these um, images look like they are drawn or they gotten somebody to create these for them. Anyways, what we're looking for guys is we are gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for the ASIN number from this book to do a reverse lookup on it. So the ASIN number is usually gonna be the first number that you see, which is right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of this and I'm just gonna open up a little notepad and I'm gonna paste this on my notepad document, okay? And then now what I wanna do is I wanna go back to Publisher Rocket and we want to use the reverse ASIN lookup, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on reverse ASIN lookup. And so here is where I'm going to enter in the ASIN for this specific book, all right? So I'm gonna enter in this ASIN and then I'm gonna do go get them rocket. This is my first time testing this out. So I'm just excited to see how this is going to perform. But I'm excited about this because it will help, I think, with um, helping to figure out 
you know, what, uh, what kind of keywords you can use for books that are low competition, but, um, that have a high search volume. All right. So these are some of the keywords that this book is ranking for. So here's a big list of these. And so it looks like what we have to do now is we need to click on this button here to kind of get some numbers to see what kind of keywords we can put uh, specifically, um, use. Okay. So I'm going to click about 10 of these and then we're going to just take a look at these keywords and see what we can find. Okay. Oh yeah, this is great. This is really great. So you can see here that we have three columns or four columns here. We have the keyword itself. We have the average sales volume. We have the searches per month, and then we have the competition score. Okay. So what I'm going to be looking for is the searches per month and the competition score. So I'm going to kind of sort these out and to sort, I'm just clicking this button right here. All right. And then the competition score, I'm going to search that out too. So this right here is basically going to show me, you know, which words have some decent number of searches per month. I usually like to look at words that have at least a thousand searches per month and the competition score is um, not that high. So let's see what we can find. So I, I, I don't really see anything that has like a thousand um, but I do see one keyword that's kind of jumping out to me that could potentially work um, in a micro niche kind of way or a, a kind of a, a, a semi micro niche. And that keyword is I love ocean animals coloring book. But that's basically what this is. So I love ocean animals coloring book. We can see that from this ASIN lookup that it has almost 600 searches per month, which is pretty decent. And then the competition is pretty low. So what I would do is I would basically take this down as a potential keyword. So I'm just going to control C. I'm going to copy that and I will probably put these in a spreadsheet. Okay. So then you have the next one is ocean animals coloring book. That one, mm, I don't think so. It's kind of moderately competitive and so on and so forth. So here's one right here, but it is very competitive. So it's 998 and this is for love ocean. So let's just look and see if we can find anything else from this. Okay. I'm going to keep clicking. Okay. Now I will say this, I am one that tries to pick things that are not as competitive, but I do know that there is, um, you, if you can get a really good cover, a strong cover design in a very competitive niche, then you can potentially do well with that as well. So for example, you can see here that coloring book animals for kids or color, yeah, coloring book animals for kids has a great number of searches, but it is moderately competitive, but you know, if you can really get a great cover and you can do a specific type of animal. So you can see instead of them just doing any kind of animal, they decided to do an ocean animal. Okay. Which is more specific. And this is a really cute design. So this is why they are actually doing pretty, um, pretty good with this because they have kind of niched down a little bit more from just any kind of animals to ocean animals. All right. So anyways, um, I just wanted to point that out as well, um, because there are some niches that I do have books in that are competitive and that I am doing, um, pretty good in. All right. So I'm just going to look at a few more. Oh, I found one. I found some. Okay. So it looks like you may have to come down and do a little bit more here to get these numbers because I am finding some better niches to kind of target. So here's one right here, coloring book ocean for kids. Here's one that has a great number of searches and the competition is not that much. So what I would do is I would control C to copy. I would take this down. And again, I will put together a spreadsheet guys. So let me just show you, I would just do this. I would open up a Google Sheets document. This is free to use. I would sign in and I'm going to create a new sheet. Okay. So I would just do, you know, potential ideas for KDP. Okay. And then here I would actually take these keywords and I would put them here. And then I would do this one. And then also what you can do is you can also put the other information that you're getting from publisher rocket. So coloring book for this. So this one has 1206. 
okay and then this has 36 and then also something else that I would do is I'm gonna insert a row I'm gonna do the keyword keyword okay and then I'm gonna do the um, what is this this is the searches per month and then the competition and I'll actually just give you guys this for free all right because <laughs> I'm just going off the cuff right now okay so this is what this is though so we have the keyword the searches per month and then the competition and so with this what you can do is you can do I thought I named this okay so with this what you can do is you can come over and use this ASIN um, tool to come in and just spend some time doing the research and finding keywords that have a good number of searches like I said a thousand or more is kind of what I like to to go for with low competition so we're talking about 30 anything that you see in the green is probably going to be something that you could potentially rank for okay so I just wanted to share that with you guys and so this is pretty much it um it looks like you can oh my goodness it looks like there is a long list of things um, that you can go through that this key that this specific uh, coloring book is um, is ranking for but um, I have just stuck to the first page and from here you can get some good information and then what you can do is you can again sort to do the searches per month to have the one that has the best number of searches and then you can also do the competition so I'm just gonna do searches per month and then I'm looking for the best number of searches per month and with green on the uh, competition score that means that's something that is possible and then um, just kind of keep going from there a few moments later all right guys so I had to go ahead and redo the in the, the, this kind of part of the video because I re recognized and realized that there was something that I totally overlooked as I was going through this tool and that is the big old fat export button right here so there's a couple of things that you guys can do to get this data number one is you can basically just sort through basically to sort the number of searches per month and then it's going to bring up the competition score for those search searches or you can go by the competition score for the keywords that are in this list and do that so here's one right here so um you can do either or but basically you just want to sort your data and then you can either one of two things you can export the data which is going to out it's going to export the data as a csv file that you will then have to download and upload into to a Google Sheets document okay to open it up to reveal the data or you can just go line by line and if you find something that sticks out to you like coloring book ocean kids you can just copy this information and put it into a spreadsheet okay so um, that's something that you can do I just wanted to keep this video as brief as possible and just to show you basically how you can use this tool to your advantage as a KDP seller so that pretty much wraps this up guys um i love to know your thoughts i think this is really great i'm definitely going to be using this to my advantage um because i do have publisher rocket for those of you that don't have publisher rocket i do have a link below it is an affiliate link all transparency but i do use this tool and um it has been very helpful for me i use this in conjunction with bookbeam you know so anything that's going to make my life easier and faster i'm going to use it <laughs> so um but again i just wanted to show you guys this tool um i sent an email to dave and the team saying thank you so much for this and he actually replied back reply back so that was really cool so Dave and team thank y'all so much for this. this is really a great addition to the tool and um, I'd love to know your thoughts are you gonna be using this for your KDP businesses or what do you guys think for, at first glance so um, thanks so much for watching I will see you guys in another video and y'all take care all right bye